hello friends uh, so today we are going to paint some very easy and loose uh, poppies and um, so here I have uh, loosely sketched where I want to put the flowers and I will start by just placing the clean water here uh, too much water so I will just spread it all around So here uh, I'm planning to do four uh, flowers and a few um, buds. So, okay, so I'll start with this flower and then uh, the color that I'm using here is uh, Rose Matter. Uh, you can take any pink or uh, magenta uh, color or if you want to use some other color of your choice, you can use any color here. So I'm using a Rose Matter here. So I just placed some color and I'm now just spreading it all around. And I am using a size 10 brush from Silver Black Velvet. So just spreading the color all around. So for this flower, now I'm using a uh, purple color and the purple that I'm using here is a uh, carbazole violet from Daniel Smith but you are free to use any purple color or uh, any contrasting color of your choice so again um, I had water and then I'm, I just put the color on top of it and spreading it For this flower again using pink I'm letting the color merge and I think it looks good you know very because it's just going to be a very loose very flowy painting so we let the colors merge So this is a very simple one. Uh, I think um, you can do it in under 10 minutes and it's a good practice uh, for uh, wet on wet painting. So I'm just adding some more texture here. And now for this flower which is pointing downwards again I'll add some water same like I did it in the other flowers and maybe we can make this one a purple and putting a little bit of color at the bottom and then just spreading it I'll add some more and just let this color spread and I'm adding the color this purple to the other pink flowers too
and we can add maybe some pink to this one I'll just spread the pink color here and since it's so so wet and loose the colors will just flow into each other and merge freely a little bit more so I added a little bit more pink color here add some stems here and uh, I'm using um, cascade green color for it but you can use any color again any whatever green color you have available you can use it I added some purple to it so it's uh, more uh, darker and in this brush um, I have a very nice point so I can make these very thin um, stems here and also at the same time this brush holds a lot of water so it's good for wet on wet painting as well we'll start painting our uh, flower buds here the ones which are unopened so I'm adding some green to them and then we can add some color and I'll add some mixture of pink and purple And again, we let these green and pinks merge with each other. Here I'm adding it to the side. Adding some purple. adding some more green and purple mixture here so I'm just darkening the bottoms of these flowers and we are all done so it's just a very simple painting I'll add some splashes just to add some more interest to it so we'll just fill up the brush with some pink and purple and just some splashes and we are all done so it's like a very simple very relaxing under 10 minutes painting that you can do and uh, I think it's quite rewarding. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked it.